Hi, my name is Karen and welcome to my channel Life as a Classroom. I am going to be explaining in this video the new pay structure for VIP Kid in 2020. If you haven't checked out my other video on my channel explaining my VIP Kid story, then in the 30 second version or less is that I had worked for VIP Kid for approximately three years, just over three years. And in January of 2020, so last month, I was I had my contract terminated, and it was it was my fault. It wasn't anything wrong on VIP Kids End. It was for too many missed classes, and you can hear more about that in my other video. But that's not what this one is about. This video is about the pay. So I'm telling you that brief part of my story so that you understand. I have been with VIP Kid for three years. I understand the company, I understand the pay, and I have now come in as a new hire. So I'm a veteran teacher, but a brand new hire on this pay system. So because of that, I have a unique perspective and position to understand what they've got going on and to understand this new system. And so I hope that I can explain this to you very simply since I've seen it sort of from the more experienced side and also I have the information directly and know firsthand what it's like being on this pay system. So I am gonna make a few notes in this video for teachers who are on the original uh, incentive structure and then I'm gonna also just explain the new structure for teachers who are on the old one and are curious and for anyone who's thinking about VIP kid and wondering about how much they can be paid I'm gonna be showing you screenshots and information directly from VIP kid this company has over a hundred thousand teachers which is wonderful but if you've ever been on the Hutong or any social media with another VIP kid teacher you know that we can spread rumors very quickly and we can get very worked up very quickly about things without knowing the facts and so I want to show you direct information from VIP kid as much as possible so that this isn't what I'm saying this is what VIP kid is saying okay the first thing I want to make very clear is read your contract. If you go into your contract, which you can see under your account on your teacher portal, scroll right to the very bottom. And once you've scrolled right to the very bottom, scroll up just a little bit. So you're looking for number three where it talks about incentives. In that section, there will be a link You'll see the hyperlink in blue. Click that. That is what will take you to the information that is specific and current for your contract right now so that you can know what you're operating on. I do think it's important when we are making posts now and asking questions about pay to be very clear about what incentive structure you're referring to because I see posts on Facebook groups about when does the one dollar for 45 classes get added and that type of thing that's gonna be very confusing for new teachers who suddenly are thinking that they're getting a dollar after they've taught 45 classes when that's not the case so veteran teachers those who are on the original pay structure I might encourage you that when you are making a post about it to put something about, please note to new teachers, this doesn't apply if you were hired December 26th or later so that we're not confusing our new teachers anymore. Okay, so read your contract. Don't talk about current teachers, new teachers, but do specify whether you're talking about the original or the new incentive structure. Next, this does not apply to teachers who were hired before December 26th at this point. It does seem very clear to me from what is said on the VIP Kid portal 
that this is going to eventually be rolled out to teachers who are on the original incentive structure. I think probably it's a smart move from VIP Kid that they are rolling this out gradually by putting their new hires on it, testing it out <laughs> with the new hires. So I do foresee it coming to teachers on the original incentive schedule or structure. That being said, I do I think this is the best thing for teachers on the original in incentive structure? No, I don't think it's the best for most of them. However, I don't think it's worth getting worked up about either. I have seen a lot of people talk about that they're going to be losing money. Okay, to lose money, you have to have it in the first place. And this might sound like a little bit of a rant here. And I'm not saying this to be insensitive to recognizing that, yes, your monthly paycheck will possibly be less than it currently is. But to lose money means you have it already. And VIP Kid doesn't owe you for future work. <laughs> they have the right to change how their company operates, even if we don't like it. And I think that overall, VIP Kid has done a good job of trying to remain balanced to serve their teachers and also serve their company. They, they are a company and a business. And I would rather have this job for a long time because they've made it sustainable than for the company to um, not be able to continue or sustain itself. And I don't think that, I'm not saying that because I think VIP Kid is on the you know edge of closing down or anything like that. It's, they're still a fairly new company. They're about six years old now, I guess. And so they're still learning and adjusting and how they operated back when I was hired in October, 2016 with 6,000 teachers is going to be very different than how it is now three years later with 100,000 teachers. And so they have the right to change. It's wise. And at the same time, you're a business too, and you are an independent contractor. You don't work for VIP Kid. You work for yourself and have a contract with VIP Kid. So just as you need to make decisions for yourself for your business, so do they. Um, I think that honestly, a lot of the upset and emotion around this system is just the confusion and the unknowns and things like that. And I don't think that VIP Kid is trying to purposely be secretive about this. I think they're just trying to make sure that the people who are on this pay system see that and the ones who are on the previous one see theirs or the original system see theirs so that it doesn't get too confusing as far as which one am I on and making assumptions about what might be coming when you don't have all the information, that type of thing. So, um, a few things to note would be that with this new structure, other incentive programs remain the same. So the $2 short notice bonus is still in effect. So if you are booked for a class, between one and 24 hours of within it starting, you get an extra $2. If you teach a trial class, so a class to a student whose parents are just trying VIP kid out and interested in the company, if you teach them that trial class and they sign up for the class immediately after taking your trial class, so they don't go on to take another trial class with another teacher, if they sign up after your trial class, you get a $5 incentive. And then the other incentive that remains the same is the referral bonus, which is currently $100 that you are paid after your referral teaches their first successful as scheduled class. Okay, the base pay right now, it seems that most teachers are coming in at $7.50 to $7.90 seems to be 
the going rate right now. And another thing to note is that with this new system, there are no base pay raises. So what you are hired at is what you stay at for your base pay. I would say if you are still under the original incentive structure, if there's any way you can work to reach a raise if you've got an odd contract coming up and think that you can get a raise, then go for it because once they transition everyone to this new system, which I'm quite sure that they will be eventually, you cannot get a raise to your base pay. It's only to this finished class. That being said, if you watched the longer video about my story, don't burn yourself out. Um, it's not worth losing your job over trying to get a raise, as I unfortunately know from my own personal experience. One thing that I do really like about this new incentive program is that there's no need to worry about Five Apple feedback from parents. I think that VIP Kid, one of the things they've listened to and they've tried to work out is some of the concerns teachers have had that with our five apple feedback rate contributing to raise criteria it made raises impossible and out of teachers control so with this new structure it's entirely in the teachers control whether they can get a raise that being said i realize that there's going to be some teachers who say well it's not really under my control because i can't teach for x number of classes or whatever so i understand but it's no longer it's more in your control now with this new f system than it has been under the original incentive structure okay so i am going to switch over now to my screen so that you can see that now we are in my teacher portal here and I have gotten to this page by going to my contract scrolling all the way to the bottom scrolling up a tiny bit to section number three where it talks about incentives and clicking the link so this has brought me to a page that talks all about this finished class incentive the first part to calculating what your incentive would be is your tier the tier is calculated on the fourth of the month, each month, and it's based on the cumulative number of classes you've taught by the last day of the previous month. So February 4th, I was calculated to be in tier one because in January, which was my first month back with the company, I taught 29 classes. So I was calculated at tier one on February 4th. On the 4th, they calculated that I'm at tier one. So for this month, I'm in tier one. Today, I taught my 80th lifetime class count, lifetime being under this account that I have now with VIP Kid. So that means that on March 4th, they will move me up to tier two. So my March incentives will start calculating at the tier two incentive per class. But right now I'm in tier one. So what this means is that my first to 20th class on top of my base pay, I receive 80 cents per class. Once I hit my 21st class in the month, I begin making $1.20 per class. So this is not retroactive. In the past, the old or the original pay incentive structure, it was retroactive. That's not the case now. Um, so class one to 20, I'm getting 80 cents. Class 21 to 40, I'm getting $1.20 and so on. You will note here that qualifying finished classes include as scheduled, student no-shows, student IT problems, and system problems. You have to have your class feedback in within 24 hours and 50 minute classes, so your level sevens are two finished classes for 
the purpose of calculating your tier. Um, the deductions are still the same. So if you miss a class, then these are your deductions based on how close to the class you cancel. One thing to note is that supplemental classes are included in your lifetime number of qualifying finished classes. So if you are under the original incentive structure right now, and you are trying to figure out, okay, if say tomorrow suddenly, which isn't gonna happen, but if tomorrow VIP Kid switched you over to this system, what tier would you be at? You need to send a ticket to get your lifetime number of qualifying finished classes because in your stats and so on, we know that supplemental classes have not been counted anymore for whatever reason with the statistics for teachers on the original incentive structure. Now, something I really like is that with this new system, I can see my total class count, including supplementals. So I'm going to take you into my payment tab for a moment here and show you. So there's your payment tab and then there's also your finished class incentives, which I'll show you in a moment. This is my February month and you will note that if I go to participation incentives, here it breaks down for you. It shows your tier, it shows the unit range, the quantity and the unit price. So for example, my first 20 classes, right? Less than or equal to 20, 20 classes at 80 cents, the amount. Class 21 to 40, so that's 20 classes at $1.20. Now, my class 41 to 60, I'm at 11 classes there right now. So I'm making a $1.60 incentive um, there. So I can see I've taught 51 classes this month. So that's, that includes my supplementary classes. If I go into for a moment my, my VIP kid, This does not show my supplementary classes still. So I currently am certified for proper pronunciation, free talk, phonics, and vocabulary. And I've taught a lot of those ones. So I've taught 35 major course classes and that number does not reflect my supplementary, but in payment, I can see that, which I really like. I am going to take you now into the finished class incentives tab and on this tab you will see it shows that I'm my status so it shows I'm in tier one so March 4th that's going to update because here it shows my cumulative finished classes is set to 80 and it counts down for you how many classes you need to finish to get to the next tier and here's the finished tier progression. So it showed that January 4th, I hadn't taught any classes the previous month. So that was my initial time. I'm at zero. February 4th, I had taught 29 the previous month. So March 4th, it'll come in with my updated amount. I think that that is all that I have to show you on here. So the way pay works is based on that chart that I had shown you. So you have your base pay and then based on the number of classes you've taught over your lifetime with VIP Kid determines your tier and then your finished class incentive. So how much you're actually making per class on top of your base pay is determined by how many classes you have taught that current month. I hope that video helps and that seeing screenshots directly from VIP Kid and from my teacher portal help to answer any questions that you may have. If you have any more, then please feel free to leave comments below and I hope that I can help you by answering them. And I would be grateful if you decided to subscribe to my channel and to stay tuned for more information on my experience as a VIP Kid 
veteran teacher who has just recently rejoined the company. Thanks for watching. Bye.